हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस लेक्चर इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद योर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ट्रैक्टर्स एंड हैवी अर्थ मूविंग मशीन थी वी आर वी आर वी वर डिस्कसिंग द यूनिट नंबर टू वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इट एंड नाउ टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द यूनिट नंबर थ्री एंड विच इज प्राइम इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन द यूनिट नंबर थ्री वी डिस्कस द बेसिक एलिमेंट ऑफ द ट्रैक्टर विच यू कैन सी दिस आर दिस इज द कंटेंट फॉर द यूनिट नंबर थ्री द चेस इज अलाइंट फीचर्स ऑफ इंजन क्लच पावर ट्रांसमिशन फाइनल ड्राइव ब्रेक्स एंड स्टीरिंग and today the topic we are going to discuss is written in already in bold which is chassis which is an important part of any vehicle if i would say not just the tractor but for any vehicle because all of the load is on to the chassis only it should be hard rugged and having enough strength to hold the load the vibrations even so there are most of the property a chassis must be carrying correct so we were discussing we will discuss it in terms of the tractors only So, if I would say, what is a chassis? It's a frame consists of different component like engine, transmission, tires, and steering system. Almost all the components of an engine is on to the chassis only. Every component, the weight of even passenger is on to the chassis. So, it should be designed in that way so that it can bear the load as well as any kind of vibration or jerks of the road. It can easily withstand by the chassis. So, it should be built to. strong bear and heavy loads and shock received while working on the farms correct in in reference to the tractors only then what are the functions of the tractors chassis frame what first of all it is to load assembly like engine transmission and steering it should be supported the rear and front wheels are connected through the chassis there are different type of chassis we will discuss it later on then the load of the implement is also carried easily by the frame the implement load correct means the front end loader or maybe your uh, threshers are there so all the load is to be on the chassis only those which are trailed they are having less load but those which do not which cannot be trailed they are to be carried by the tractor only so the load should be carried by the chassis then the working on the uneven field as i told you the load incurred with tractor is working on the field along the implement is also managed by the frame while working we there are some implements which are used while the tractor is moving as well correct so both of the load is carried by the chassis and it should be withstand by it now the load produced by the sudden application of brake yes again it's a sudden application of brakes and sudden acceleration or de deceleration correct in both the types the load would be there onto the chassis so that should be bearable correct and the cornering forces cornering forces are those which are used when which comes into picture when the tractor is taking the turn or whenever your vehicle is taking the turn so that that becomes your cornering forces correct because on the corner the one side the forces are less on the other side the forces are the lower so that's why it should be balanced correct so there are the two types of chassis the first one is chassis less tractor and second one is with the chassis frame correct so if i would say you what is the firstly we'll discuss a chassis less tractor so as the name implies the tractor do not have any type of frame correct it does not have any type of the frame and the front part of the engine block is fastened to the front cross member and the engine at the rear side is attached to the transmission box correct and that machine is rough to nurture the nature to fulfill the requirement as you can see and this uh, uh, two images i want to show you this thing. correct let's suppose this is a front end of the tire uh, front end of the tractor this is a front end of the tractor in that side we are having the engine correct that engine is working is on to the front cross member fine then it is attached to your gear box over here and then this is your rear cross member so this is to be implied on to the rear cross member throughout so after the the front end of the engine is on to the front cross member then the rear end of the engine is connected to your transmission box correct here is the transmission which is connected to your rear cross member correct so there is no need for a all periphery of the chassis does not required only the engine and the gear box are directly connected as you can see clearly in this case correct on the front end there is an engine and the rear is your gear box so both are connected through this uh, nut and bolt assembly correct so that is what he says that the front end of the engine is blocked is fastened to attach the front cross member over here and then the engine of the rear side is attached to the transmission box fine so that transmission box is further attached to the rear cross member these machines are tough in nature to fulfill the requirement because if the chassis the frame is provided there is a 
always a difficulty while taking that turn on the left or the right correct so the chassis less become easier so that it can have the enough uh, less turning radius would be there correct then we are having the tractors having chassis frame those structures which are already provided with the chassis frame that could be used these engines they, uh, in these vehicles are light in weight and cannot take the extra load and act as a chassis alternative correct because in the previous case the engine and the transmission box are working as a chassis which is bearing the whole load but in this case there is no uh, in this case there is a chassis frame which is uh, used for the lighter works only correct in this case it is necessary to provide a chassis on which engine is mounted correct the chassis frame is connected to the front cross member at the front and the rear side it is attached to the transmission box fine so as you can see here i want to show you this images so can you see this this case here yeah these these bars these bars over here these bars are solely taking the load of the engine this were not present in the chassis this is not present in the chassis tractors correct for the lighter work with frame the chassis with frame is to be used for the heavier or rugged works the chassis frame is used correct then the members then the members of the frame which are used for it because finally ultimately all the load is on to the members that's why these frames are using there are three or four types of sections which they are used the first one is tubular means the tube kind of a circular tube correct the circular tube this is this type of a section is mostly used in tractor where brackets are welded to the front end and the rear of the tubular frame of the uh, for the purpose of connecting correct here you can see this is this one okay then the next one is channel section this is a mostly used section it is more strengthened than the any kind of circular or square type of your section but this channel section the c section which we generally known as a c section is most effective because it can bear the maximum load and nowadays we are using the channel sections only c sections only which we call it as a c section okay and then box section although they are used very less in some of the vehicles nowadays we are using the major components which are uh, rested or which are you know attached to your chassis these are gearbox interface interface fixing the bolts clutch housing engine mounting chassis long members front cross member correct so these are the things which are attached with the uh, chassis which are made on the chassis and these further attaching the you know your engine your gear boxes are to be attached onto then the maintenance of the tractor chassis because it is the only thing which carries the load so its maintenance is very much its designing and its testing is very much rugged because if it fails the testing how it can survive in the field even correct so these are to be maintained very well the tractor chassis frame is made very strong to withstand the extra load we are designing the factors of safety you know three to four times the factor of safety we are designing for it correct then we are having in some cases tractor might be used in extreme conditions thus may cause some defects so what could be the defects the first one is loose rivets the rivets are the things which are connecting your engine or maybe your gearbox your attachments to the chassis so may there may be any rivet is loosened up or maybe broken apart due to your usage so that is a loose uh, loose rivets second is in cracks the cracks can be maintained on to the uh, tractor chassis because of the rusting because of the extra load might be there so in both of the cases it is best i would say i would suggest it is best to change the chassis do not try to maintain it because it is very deadly thing or life threatening thing if it is to be having a crack or loose rivets correct if it is a loose rivet so you can change the rivets or you can maintain it very well but if it is a crack so do not try to uh, maintain it just change it yeah so this is all about today if you wanted to check my other videos must subscribe my channel tiny steps and you can find out the previous lecture and for the further lectures you must share this channel and watch this video thank you and take care